into the nasty vision thrones and whips tv series today we got mj morrison 266 we're going to check out a garage and his office today if i'm not mistaken he's already parked at the front of the boat let's go ahead and check this out this time i actually got my pass down so i don't get mixed up again yeah let's see what kind of helicopter he brought over to take us to his office this time Eh, not the best one, but hey, it'll work. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, let's head over and check this out, Morrison. Let's see your office. Let's see what we can check out here. For today, folks, um, we got one garage. Morrison is our special first episode player that got selected for this. He got lucky tonight with it, for sure, for sure. It looks like we got around nighttime, so cool. Ooh, beautiful sunset, of course. Oh, look at that beautiful city. Looking wonderful already. So Morrison, give us some details. What's some cars that we're going to expect to see? We've got a variety of cars. We've got one supercar, we've got some sports cars, we've got some cars that I like to lower over there. So it's a fancy Morrison, are you aware that you can press right on the D-pad and that lets us straight in the office? Awesome, you are. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go check this office out. Oh, look at Morrison. Big and beefy motherfucker. There's and, ooh, yeah. I'm in blow. Does that mean I get some blow? Or that I have to go to the woman to get a blow? Or do I get a lot of blow? Is there a desk for the blow? All right, let's get some blow. Right. I get some blow from my house. Excuse me. She blows me all the time. So long. Ooh, your secretary say excuse me, but I just wanted her to say, oh God, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where I make my money, right here. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Show me that gun safe. I want to see what you got packing here, buddy. Oh, um, yeah, it's just. You don't have a gun that. safe. Are you kidding me, my <laughs> friend? How dare you? You have nothing to protect this beautiful place. Please tell me you got a money safe. You got that, don't you? Uh, okay, we won't go there. Though. We're going to be courteous. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, man, I like how you done selected the interior. Very nice. Looks I'm like you got some drugs laying around everywhere. I mean, you do got blow. I don't see any lines set up on the table for me. Good God. You're supposed to have some lines for me, my friend. Oh, well, Morrison, time, friend. beautiful office, and I love the name. I truly do. I I'm here for you, boss. 100%. Strictly amazing. I gotta give you that. So what's the car we're gonna be cruising in today to go see your garage? Well, I got oh, a nice hi. lowrider that I like How so can I help you? Let's do it. Let's check out this lowrider. Let me know what you want. Just remember, you're the one that's gonna be driving. To get it ready. It's you gonna be scary nice for me. Boss. I already know it. And I'll meet you outside your office. Alright, going down the elevator. Let's check this shit. Alright, here I go. Coming down. For you to know that I buy everything that I have with no shark card. Let's Obviously. see here. Okay, I came out to the right spot. Alright. Where's this beautiful car at? Right here. Ooh, let's check this thing out, folks. Let's go into first person view just to get this beauty in line. Oh, very, very nice, my friend. Ooh. Nice. Well, let's go for the cruise. This car looks sexy. I want to see how it drives. Nice. 
Looks like we're going the wrong journey. And courtesy of Morrison here, folks. Looks like an actor driving, just cruising in the voodoo. Oh, oh, we didn't even have to go far. This is just straight up awesome. <laughs> but he can't drive. That's a wall. Oh, okay. We're going to get out here and still hit the wall. All right, I guess I can live with that. All righty, I'll buzz your door here. Come on. Yeah, of course. Game wants to be slow with me today. You gotta love it. Yeah. Let's hit up Mr. Morrison. There you go. Alright, folks. Let's check out this beautiful setup we got here. Ooh, nice. I took this one to the last meet. This orange one right here. Ooh. Now, is this your only garage you have, or you have a couple few that you'd like to show off? I have, like, two more. Okay, cool. That'll work out, so we got two more garages for you to show off. I'm down for that. I like mixing it up a little bit. Get some entertainment going on. My next my next um, warehouse will take it to my lowrider warehouse. Or my old old car warehouse. There you go. Very my nice. IG, my 9F, which is an Audi, a Porsche, my Lamborghini. This is the first car I took to your meet right Very now. beautiful. Oh, I gotta get people first person view of this. This is just sexy. And Morrison, I appreciate you helping out, letting us show off your garage, man. This is awesome. Anytime, anytime. Just it's gotta be nice to be on the first fight. episode, right? <laughs> <laughs> see here, nice Sentinel. I really like the black. It's like an old school Beamer. And we got the classic Futo, of course. Very nice. I take pride in this car. So it's so low that sometimes I get stuck on like the little curbs. <laughs> so, so let me know which car you would like to take and then I'll take it to my next warehouse. Oh, okay. not a problem. Just showing them off here for the folks. As for like a car, you are the garage owner, so you get to pick the vehicle we get to take. You get to entertain us, my friend. That's how it has to go. Um, let's take the Porsche Expose. Ooh, nice. Let's check this out. We're going to take the Pister Comet. Let's go check out this next garage. Going by the airport. Let's rock and roll. I don't like sitting and sitting here. Let's go. <laughs> right. Dragging out my lines. <laughs> oh no. And you can't drive. We're having some major <laughs> issues here today, folks. Ah, uh, that's some of the cars. They, they sometimes don't. That's the thing about GTA. Some of the cars have some excellent handling. Some of them are questionable indeed. Ah hell, if you drive normal, it ain't gonna entertain them. You gotta give them crashes, bashes, running over people. I mean, it's normal. You gotta do it. I will admit though, a lot of you do need to learn to drive. I will admit that. I also need to learn to drive. But a lot of you really need to learn to drive. Me, I can't race for shit, so personally, it ain't gonna be that big of a deal. <laughs> and the reason why I let you guys drive is because I don't want them to see how bad I am. 
<laughs> Plus I need a chauffeur. That's what I need to get. My own little pilot and chauffeur for this. Oh yes. Straight beauty right there. Um. Out of courtesy for our patrons, I may drive next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> this is where I keep my more older looking cars. Let's check this out. Buzzing you right now. Let's see what you got in this beautiful garage of yours. Hopefully it's going to be some immaculate. Ooh, I like the color schemes already. Nice. This is where I keep the low rider. Ooh. Oh, they don't let you walk through there no more. Ain't that a bummer? Just to the viewers who don't know, most of these cars are actually really rare. Like, actually. Nah, I'd, I'll be dead honest with you, bud. Most of these are not rare anymore. <laughs> All of like them it. are completely what? able to find, even including this Dubsta 2. It is completely easy to find. They are not hard That's to find at all. The Mustang is easily accessible at the mod shop, along with the Sentinel, which can be found in multiple locations, along with the Sabre Turbo, which also can be found, and along with the gang vehicles. None of them are too difficult to find anymore. They're not rare. But this dumpster too took me hours to find, man. It took dumpster. me days. That's because people don't do the right time frame. They go the wrong route. It only took me about three minutes to get mine to spawn. I, at, at 12 o'clock, man, I know the right route. I know everything. <laughs> There's a secret to it. <laughs> it's a special secret that everybody keeps hidden, and I'm going to keep it hidden myself. <laughs> All right. So which car should we take? In all honesty, I want to drive this. Yeah, let me drive this. Very well, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, let's check yeah. this out. Well, now that these cars aren't rare, I guess I'm going to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. They're really not rare anymore, to be dead honest with you. All right, you mark the garage for me. I'm going to drive us this time. The host is going to work for it. All right. <clears throat> see you're driving. You're any better than me. Oh, my driving will be a little bit entertaining. It's just a matter of how we got to keep it going. So what should we expect of this next garage, Morrison? Um, this next one, I just put random, random vehicles that I just put down there. Just random vehicles? Yeah, I don't I think it's like only halfway full. So this will be my last. Okay. Stop. Not a problem. I'm gonna go check it out. And if you could not blow up this car, because I do not have insurance on it. <laughs> now you see, now that I will actually blame the player for. You purchase a car in GTA, you do not put insurance on it, that is your own risk and your own fault. That's why they give it to you. <laughs> Your car gets destroyed during the show. Should have insured it. <laughs> All right, then. Plus, it's entertainment. They love that, like, ha, oh, that car does not exist anymore. Plus, come on, Morrison. You know I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, give him the finger. Give him all the finger. Get him out of my way. Yeah, cruising through Los Santos, heading to the next garage to show off. And after that, we'll head over to the Nasty Throne. Let's check this out. Almost there.
So Morrison, how do any of these garages represent you? I don't know, I just like I mostly like finding random cars off the street and making them making them low. Ah, them so you go for so you go for your own type of style then. Yeah. Then cool. I was going for the red car. You know how that ended up. Alright, so you grab so you grab the cars off the street and then you work from there. That's a really nifty yeah. idea, man. I really like that oh, idea. Yeah. There's the buzzer, alright. Let's check this out. Let's see what you got in here. Let's see what you're about to work on. Your workshop. There you go. This is it. Ooh. Hello. Well folks. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I love it already. This is cool. This is a nice this little mixture. Rhapsody. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Hmm. <clears throat> these two, uh, these this Rhapsody and this Glendale right here, I saw. Um, you I just saw had two to have them. On them. <laughs> yeah, I saw videos and I said I got that. I got have those, especially with this one that has a bike rack up up on top. Something or not a bike rack, but just a rack. That's a very nice car, Morrison. That looks beautiful. Damn, this is I'm a impressed. prime example of a car that I just picked up off the street. Just put some rims on it and lowered it. Ooh. I have to admit, man, I'm kind of loving this last garage. I'm liking the color schemes. I like it flashy. I decided to go with a nice gold color for the hearse, as I saw black and white was a little Oh, overused. very nice. Beautiful, yeah. I'm loving it already, man. I am impressed. And I love the little lifeguard four-wheeler here. That's kind of cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just found that and I decided that we'll take it. Ah. Well, here, I'm going to do us one better. I'm going to go ahead and give my car a call. I'll go ahead and take us over to the Nasty Vision crib. I got to admit, Morrison, you got some excellent, beautiful garages, my friend. I was straight up impressed by that. Hopefully my mechanic here will respond quickly. Knowing my luck, he probably will not. Always gonna be a pain, as always. Morrison, what I'll do is I'll take you over to the nasty crib. We'll have a little bit of a discussion over there, do our nice little closing for today. And then we'll get everything else set up from there. And then I do want to thank you, Morrison. You had some excellent garages, bud. I really appreciate you helping us out for, like, the first episode. And I can't wait to do the rest of the Patreons. This is going to be amazing. And I definitely want to see everyone's garage. Now, you yourself, would you look forward to coming out again? Yeah. Thanks. Hopefully AI doesn't kill us here. Yeah. Now I can get some speed so I can go somewhere. Woo! Well, yeah, we got to ride in style when we're going over to the Nasty Division crib. Shit. Can't ride slow? No, we can't ride low, though. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, of course. I had to hit one thing. Just could not help it. Yep, drift it. Oh yeah, got a lot of it. Sorry, Morrison, I couldn't hear a word you actually said, but you muffled out. That's something you might need to fix with your mic there, my friend. Question is, will the car blow up before we get there? Oh nah, this one's got some armor on it. 
We should be perfectly fine. I don't think we'll have too much of an issue. Then again, I could be really wrong. Yep, okay. We're going to yep, squeeze it right in between them. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. And it's a stop. <laughs> oh, God, I love that part. And, of course, the viewers are going to get a quick view of Blue Haze Maze Garage right here. Yeah, it ain't that spectacular, but it's something. Well, let's take you inside to the Nasty Vision crib, my friend. Definitely want to have a quick few words with you. Make sure you enjoyed yourself. I had a great time, man. Hell yeah. And I got to admit, man, I saw some beautiful garages. I really did. Was there any cars that you did not enjoy? Well, in all honesty, like, what I expect when I come to see the garages, like, I, in truth, I'm just expecting maybe, like, one or two, not the full garages you guys are tossing out to me. Like, that's just even more amazing to me. Now, Morrison, we do have a new little thing here with the Nasty Vision TV series. With Thrones and Whips, you have to hit the bong. You have no choice. It is an automatic. You must hit the bong. To tell, you, to tell you the truth, I was going to do it regardless. Oh, beautiful then. Now, there is a saying we got. If you don't cough, you didn't get off. Remember that. <laughs> if I don't cough, I don't get off. Okay. Yep. That's how it goes. There you go, my friend. That's what I'm talking about. Take another one for the road. Yes, my friend. You got a cough. <laughs> you may want to sit down. This may take a while. <laughs> may take a little while, man. He can take it to the dome, my friends. Oh, he's going for it. He is going for it. He's going to smoke all my weed. Hold up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, Morrison, when you're done That's there, go ahead and take a seat, and we'll have our little discussion, my friend. All right, <laughs> <laughs> he just he just can't help it. He's like, damn, this is some good shit, bro. It's like I haven't had some of that fire shit in a long time. Gotta take a seat after that. <laughs> so Morrison, in your honest opinion, how you currently like in the first episode? Are you hoping to see more? Yeah, man, can't wait to see the next episode. Beautiful. Now, can you make a recommendation of who you would like to see and what you would like to see in those garages? Oh, I, I have a recommendation of who I would like to see. Um, Beautiful. I haven't seen him on in like a couple of days, but if he gets on, his name is El Bazookazo, or I, oh. I just we just call him Bazooka. He comes to Bazooka. The okay. Yeah. Well, let's do that little shout-out for him now. Bazooka, you're the one we're calling out for next Friday, bud. I'm going to automatically put that down on a selection. If I'm not mistaken, I even got you on Twitter, so I'm going to bug the crap out of you all week, Bazooka. All goddamn week. Now, Morrison, uh, what would you recommend for Bazooka to show off? I want him to show off, um, I don't know, anything he likes, I guess. Ooh, so this would be any mass variety. Now I'm intrigued. Hmm. Especially, I especially want him to show off his, his X80. He's pretty Ooh. proud of that. So he's got a classic X80 then. All right. I'd want to check that out. That'd be for sure. That's going to basically entice everybody to want to check this. Beautiful. Well, Morrison, I definitely want to make sure I ask you this. All right. One, do yourself... A favor, and could you really think about considering coming back on the show? Would you want to do another range of garages? Yeah, I'll do it anytime you want, as soon as I get new cars. Perfect. Well, then I definitely want to invite you to come back again some other, or another time when we're doing a show. I would really love to have you again because this would just be straight up amazing just to see what you can mix up later on down the road. And Morrison, is there anything else you would like to say to our audience? <coughs> no, I'm good. All right, well, if you want to take a hit from the bong, keep on going for it, brother. Folks, that's going to be the end of our Thrones and Whips today. Look for Friday. We're going to try to obtain Bazooka. 
As for me, I'm going to head out for the night for our next car show. That's going to be coming up here within the next hour, folks. Have a wonderful day and take it easy.